Welcome back to the channel guys. We're going to do something a little different here rather than just doing kind of a gameplay video for you of Cyberpunk. I want to do a little bit of a deeper dive into the settings and what's going on with the performance here on Cyberpunk on Shadow Boost and hopefully by spending a little bit of time here going through the settings talking about the the game's performance and the hits that Shadow takes on its GPU and CPU. It'll help you get the best settings uh, for you and how you want to be able to play the game depending on what resolution that you're wanting, what kind of frame rate you're targeting, uh, how nice you want the game to look, all these kinds of things. This should give you a baseline of what to do with your settings and just kind of get an idea for what kind of performance to expect from a system like this and from Shadow Boost. So what we're going to do is go down here and go to the part of the game where you first come out right here and emerge into the city for the first time. We are running at 1440p medium preset right now. We're going to get into all that here in just a minute. But I want you to see as we first come out here, you'll see some dips there. But for the most part, We'll be able to hold about 30 FPS. We do have the crowd uh, clutter on high here, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later on in the video as well. So let me go over here, talk to Jackie real quick. We'll get this going. So we're going to take a little look around here. I'm going to go stand by my car over here, and we're just going to stay in one spot, and we're just going to talk about these settings because you, you're not going to get 60 FPS out of this game on Shadow Boost, no matter what you do, unless you just really, really tank the resolution and settings down to a extremely low point, and you'll see what I'm talking about as we go on here. You can see at 1440p, we're running 99% and decent on our CPU. We're gonna go in here first things first, and I'm just gonna show you a 1080p, because I know a lot of people are gonna ask about this, so let me see if I can give you an idea of what to do with both 1080p and 1440p. So here you're gonna go, you're gonna see our GPU usage go way down. It's gonna have a lot of trouble spiking back up because now we've created the bottleneck for the CPU. So you can see all those threads are getting hit much harder now. We gained about six on average for our FPS up from 30, it's bounced between 35 and 38 now. But we also took a huge hit on CPU, which could hurt us later on down the road when we're putting up a lot more NPCs or fighting. Um, if we don't have much headroom left on the CPU, we could wind up getting more stutters down the road at 1080p with these settings than we would at 1440p with the GPU getting more usage and holding back the CPU. So let's go in here. I'm going to change it back to 1440p because that's the main way. I do like to game on Shadow and most of my gaming, but it's also give us our baseline here in between our 1080 and 4K, which of course you are not doing 4K uh, with a build like this. So right here, back to our normal settings, back to a pretty decent 30 FPS, just kind of hanging out here in the city at medium preset on 1440p. So now let's get ready. We'll go in and we're going to do some preset changes and I'll just show you what's going to happen with our performance and this should give you an idea of how you want to run the game. Like I said, getting up to 60 FPS with this would be very, very difficult to do, even with 1080p, because the CPU just kind of is what it is here. So going in here, the first thing I'm going to do is take us from our medium, and we'll bump it up here a little bit. Of course, motion blur is going to be off for everything that we're doing here. I'll continue to turn that off. Uh, definitely what you want to do uh, when you're benching games and taking a look at how things are really looking here. So. Nothing else really changed though. The only changes I'll make is to motion blur. Other than that, we're gonna use the preset. So let's change this up to high. I'm gonna turn our motion blur back off and we'll go see what we've got for our high preset here. Without an RTX card, we're not using DLSS or ray tracing and without DLSS, it's very difficult. I much prefer running this game on an RTX card, but there you go. 99% on our GPU again now and our CPU usage is even less. Uh, because we're hitting the GPU even harder and kind of slowing things down there. Of course, as you increase the graphic fidelity, you are going to hit the CPU as well. But we're just kind of hitting our point with that GPU where it's it's not asking for as much as fast uh, from the CPU. But 25 FPS, we lose 5 on the high preset. Definitely not worth it. I don't recommend going high or ultra. I recommend staying medium for 1440p or 1080p on Shadow, definitely. So we'll go up into our ultra and you'll see us come down to about 21 22 fps there for ultra again no big change to system performance because we were already bottlenecked by gpu on high uh, you could see that by the thread uh, usage going down when we went to high now on ultra same thing so we're just going to continue to lose fps as we go so again medium preset is pretty good 1080p or 1440p 
you could go low and we'll take a look at that here in just a second but i think for most people that would work really well so here's ultra at 1080p i know everybody's going to want to kind of see that and there you go you can get up there a little bit but i'm afraid as you get into some heavy areas of the game this even at 1080p on ultra you're going to start getting a lot of stutters that you're going to have trouble with aiming driving steering things like that um, don't really recommend even doing ultra if you want to do high 1080p maybe but i still recommend medium for 1080p and 1440p here on shadow boost for cyberpunk 2077 definitely so what i want to do is we'll go back into our settings again here we're going to go back to our 1440p and we're going to go back to our presets and just for the fun of it we'll take a look at low really quickly here so you can see what that does at 1440 and you'll see us go up to about 39 40 you can see all the graphics change there as we load in definitely not as nice the lighting shadows i mean it's still a gorgeous game you could definitely get away with playing it like this if you wanted to uh, but i think medium just helps keep the game looking a little bit more next gen much better with the lighting and the shadow effects but you do get about an eight or nine fps increase by going down to low from the medium preset granted this is just one area of the city you know giving an example uh, it's not going to be indicative of the performance absolutely everywhere in the game but this just gives us at least an even baseline so i want to put us back to medium for our preset i still think this is the way to go here even though i'm not a big fan of 30 fps gaming um, i think this is probably the sweet spot you could tune some other settings individually if you would like to but this video is already going to be long enough so we're not going to go that deep into it um, i'll just keep using the presets now gameplay go over here and mess with your crowd density you've got your low medium and high here this is really going to do a lot for your CPU usage as well. If you find that you need to adjust this, it does lower the density and liveliness of the city. Try to stay medium or high if you can um, to keep the city really feeling alive in this game. But definitely mess with that crowd density if you need to kind of play with, with play around and trying to get every little bit of performance that you can um, and just adjust settings to what's important to you and how you want to be able to play the game here on Shadow. Shadow Boost can definitely play this game just fine. Uh, it's a great experience. I've been really enjoying it. Uh, but you need to be able to tweak those settings to get the kind of experience you're willing uh, to get here for Shadow Boost with Cyberpunk. And you can see just kind of walking around the city. What a gorgeous game. I'm really enjoying cyberpunk it is buggy as hell it is has a lot of issues we got a patch today a little over a gigabyte but they've got a ways to go but even with all that to be honest i am still really enjoying the game and i know cd cdpr will be getting those patches out and continuing to support this game as we go so let's jump into the car real quick i know people are going to ask about that Here's our 1440p medium. We didn't change any settings, but here we are in the car. You will lose a little bit of FPS. It is harder to render this quicker as we go. Uh, lose a little bit of performance, but it wasn't a big of a, as big of a hit as I would thought. It still does try to maintain that 30. And I'll go ahead and show you a 1080p here as well, just so that you can get a feel for that. Again, help you guys kind of figure out what kind of settings are going to work best for you. And we should go up to about 40, 42 here. So pretty good. Um, this makes me really interested to run this. I haven't done it yet on the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro with 4K AI upscaling, but running the game at 1080. Um, I think this is going to be a great experience. And I'm going to do a Shield TV Pro versus Stadia on Chromecast 4K and just kind of see what these look like next to each other. But let's switch back over to 1440p. Jump back in our car here. And what I'm going to do is leave you guys with a little bit of gameplay, a little bit of gunplay so you can see how their performance goes, and then uh, that'll wrap up the video. So thanks a lot for coming to check it out. I hope this helps you out with your settings for Cyberpunk on Shadow, and enjoy the rest of the gameplay.